Okay, here we are. Um, we're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, what's up you guys, it's Connor. And today I'm brought to you in my hometown. My hometown. My hometown. My hometown. Uh, I look like a little bit of a mess. I'm sitting in a bunch of leaves. Uh, the sun will be down in exactly 23 minutes. Here comes a car. Yes. 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 Stare at me. Love me. I don't really care anymore. Um, also, I'd like to point out that I'm wearing the same thing as I did two weeks ago. Very cool, we're awesome. I don't know, I wanna film, I, I haven't filmed in a while, and I'm gonna probably film a video about why I haven't filmed in a while soon, but uh, for today, I just wanna answer some of you guys' questions, because I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and I don't know, I just like talking to you guys, so. Yes. Uh, I picked up some really interesting questions today, so stay tuned, watch the whole thing. I definitely am gonna leave one of them, probably the title, maybe not the title, uh, for the very end. So stick around and listen up. Put your ears forward. I, I feel like I would low-key look real cute like that. Quickly before we start though, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by LiveMe. LiveMe is a live streaming app that you can download to your phone. And the really cool part about LiveMe sponsoring this video is that over the next month, I have several huge announcements for you guys, and I'm gonna be able to give you guys a bunch of inside information with things as they're happening. So it's a really convenient sponsorship, and I'm really happy to be working with them. I'm gonna be doing four live streams over the next month. They'll be every single Saturday at 2 p.m. PST. That's 5 p.m. in New York, and like 10 p.m. in the UK. It's pretty convenient for a lot of the world. So if you wanna watch me do a Q&A, very similar to this on LiveMe, but live. Click the link down below, download Live Me for free. Thank you, let's begin. What is your favorite thing to do when you're in your hometown? Honestly, yeah, I just like being home because it's so quiet. Like I'm, I'm sitting on my front lawn and it's this quiet. That's amazing. The only thing I hear is like a couple cars way in the distance and I hear leaves falling around me. I see leaves falling around me. It's just so damn peaceful and it makes me so happy to be home. And just as I say that, a car comes and ruins the video. Do you have any favorite LGBTQ plus movies? I'm so glad someone asked this question because I recently saw two films, two of my favorite films I think I've ever seen in my entire life and I saw them that's a noise. I saw them within the last two weeks. Okay, so the first film that I saw is called Closet Monster, and the second film I saw is called Moonlight. Both are films that center around two gay males falling in love, but both are completely different. Closet Monster is kind of a weird, interesting, stylistic approach to it. It's a very simple story, but the way they film it and the way they act it out is just amazing. Moonlight, on the other hand, or, Moonlight also is a very stylistic film, but what I love about it is is the type of relationship these people have, and I really don't want to ruin anything for you guys, because both, in a way, have simple storylines, but they come out as complex films. Either way, go see them. They're both worth it. They're two of my favorite movies I've seen in years. And I think my favorite part about that is I they're not even my favorite films because they're LGBT films. They're just my favorite films. It's getting so dark. Ugh. How much did you cry during your brother's wedding? My brother just got married yesterday. That's why I'm home. And it was the perfect day. The weather looked like this. My brother's wife was stunning. My brother looked so handsome. Here we are again. Actually, that looked kind of cool. Can you move that? Can you back that car up? Back that ass up. Back that ass up. The wedding was perfect. The weather was perfect. The food was perfect. The guests were perfect it was so perfect and i cried a good dozen times do you like glazed donuts or plain donuts honestly i'm going to get so real right now donuts may be the best thing ever i like all types of donuts but i oddly love just plain cake donuts literally because it's just cake i like cake donuts are Fucking amazing. I'm gonna keep throwing leaves at you. Have you thought about getting a tattoo anymore? Okay, so update on the earring. It's apparently bruised. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I can't see it, but apparently it's really bruised back here. So that's an update on the earring. But why I bring up the earring is because I see why that one pe when people get a tattoo, they always say they have an itch to get more tattoos. And I get it. Because as soon as I got this, I was like, I kind of want another piercing. And then I was like, oh, but I also kind of want like a tattoo. How cool would that be? I get it. So I don't know if I want a tattoo, but I want one more than I wanted one two weeks ago. This is getting dark. I wonder if we can adjust. Oh my god, I dropped my laptop. Oh my god. Oh good god. I suck. We made it brighter. We made it brighter. Do you miss your old apartment? I don't miss my old apartment. I actually really love my new place and I was really happy to kind of change 
honestly. I was just happy to move locations. I was happy to move into a different type of place, a different type of architecture. My new place is so bright. I don't, I don't miss my old place. I love my new place. How was your experience with We Day Toronto? So uh, the other week I spoke at this thing called We Day and it was really cool. I spoke about uh, more cars, murder me. This video is going interesting. The memory card just got full. It is officially dark outside. This, I guess this is my first video I've ever filmed at night, so like, that's new. We Day Toronto was great. I spoke in front of 20,000 kids, and I used to have such a big fear of public speaking in general. So the fact that I was able to speak in front of 20,000 kids was pretty amazing, and I pat myself on the back for that because I'm very proud of myself. Any new Common Culture stuff coming soon? This month, new Common Culture stuff coming this month. And by stuff, I'm not even gonna tell you what I mean by stuff because stuff actually means a lot of things. All I'm gonna tell you is that next Friday, two Fridays from now, on the 18th, big announcement. Big announcement on this channel, get ready. Will you be having any meetups soon? Yes. Do you have any secrets you want to share? Uh, I got really, really drunk last night. Like, really, really drunk. And I'm definitely hungover while filming this video. Yep, I'm here, folks. I'm here. And the final question of the Q&A that I would like to answer is, who are you voting for? Tomorrow, November 8th, is the day that you vote for the next president of the United States of America. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. People have been talking about this election for so long. This election has been intense, it's been crazy, it's been honestly surreal. It's been, in my opinion, one of the, one of the craziest things that's happened to the United States in a really, really long time. So, I want to encourage you to get out there and vote. Uh, I think people in this country really take it for granted how much their vote matters and I think this election is the perfect case to remind you that your vote matters. The difference between someone who promotes equality among genders, races, sexualities, and everything in between, and someone who doesn't. Tomorrow is the difference between those two types of people, one or the other becoming president, and running this country and representing this country. You need to decide who you want to be that person. Please go vote. Your vote matters. Also, please remind everyone in your personal lives to vote. I've been using my platform to tell people to vote, but I've also been taking the extra effort to make sure my family and my friends are A, informed, B, registered, and C, actually voting. The amount of people I know that don't actually vote even though they can and they're registered and their work has given them time off and they've been prepped for this for literally months is it's beyond me so yes tomorrow november 8th please go vote i will be voting for hillary clinton the only person that i think is qualified to run this country in this election a beacon of hope <laughs> this is all so funny to me I just find this hilarious because I originally wanted to make such a serious video and here I am sitting in the dark, like my card running out of memory, me just interrupted constantly, I don't know. Before anything else goes wrong, I love you guys, <laughs> I gotta go. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure a big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Do -do -do -do.